I'm Mike, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Audio Hijack to record a Skype call on your Mac. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. This is a great little app, especially for podcasters wanting to record their interviews. I'll place a link to it in the description to this video. Uh, I love how easy this is to use and I can record my Skype calls and then later on drag them and edit them inside Adobe Audition. So in Audio Hijack, you just click New Session to get started. Lots of templates, but I'll start with a blank session and show you how easy it is to get this up and running. So first of all, you choose a source. This can be an input device, your system audio, or an application. In this case, it's an application. There it is. Select an app. It can be anything you like from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition to uh, your web browser or, of course, Skype, which is what I want. That's all good. Leave that as it is. You can output it anywhere. You can even broadcast it if you have an internet station to shoutcast. This could be ideal if you want to broadcast, say, your Spotify library or your playout system. But for now, for this example, I'm going to be using Recorder. Drag it in. Automatically, you get a line connecting Skype to the recorder. We can change a few settings on this. First of all, we'll save it to a different location. We'll save it to my Skype folder here. Uh, we can give it a date and time. That's absolutely fine. Date and time recording is very helpful. Recording format can be MP3 or lossless AAC. I'll stick with MP3, but I'll go into advanced and I'll notch up to 320 kilobits per second for my bitrate, highest quality MP3. You can also add ID3 tags if you want. Let's keep it really simple. So this is a simple example of how it would work. I'll click record here and I'll make a call to the Skype test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Pretty sweet. That is all done now and all recorded for me into my Skype folder. Here is my Skype folder with the recording that I have just made. So I'm going to drag that and drop that in and let's have a look. And you'll see that actually the Skype test call is on the right hand side. And had I been speaking, it would have recorded my speech on the left hand side, which is super handy, giving you two tracks that you can then separate in Adobe Audition like this, left and right. So that would be the left track. I can then open up the right track individually individually as well, drag them into a multi-track session and edit away. So really, really cool stuff there uh, from Audio Hijack. Just one more feature I'm going to show you in this video, recording Skype calls with it, is that you can actually put in built-in effects here. Uh, it comes built in with plenty of stuff like uh, EQ, bass and treble, uh, some denoising, which could be handy for a Skype call. You could throw that in the middle. And you can even use audio unit effects. So if you have plenty of plugins like I do, tons of them, I've got all kinds of stuff from Waves and Isotope that I can throw in the mix in real time while recording. But for instance here, I could just say, well, I'd like to throw in a denoise plugin. You can place that anywhere in the chain, but obviously in the middle of Skype and the recorder makes the most sense. Click it for the settings. You can change the threshold and noise suppression, and you can start adding plugins in real time while you're recording your calls or your apps or whatever. Say, for instance, in another example, you're starting an internet radio station. You could have, instead of recorder, you could have the, the broadcaster, uh, which would be this one, the broadcast. Send it out to a shoutcast stream, Mike Russell's broadcast. How cool. And then I could I could throw in like a, a compressor or something, Abbey Road plates from Waves, whatever I want. And all in real time, Audio Hijack is going to do all of this stuff on the fly. Uh, just make sure you've got a pretty hefty CPU because it could get quite CPU intensive. But a great introduction to Audio Hijack. It's great for podcasters. Great if you're thinking of setting up your own internet radio station. And if you decide to use it yourself, let me know how you get on in the comments to this video. <coughs> 